Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's go and hunt some big things, I suppose. I can't remember what I said we were going to do in the last video because, well, that was a while ago, man. Um, so, let's go hunt some big beasties. We've still got a giant looper to fight, which I'm actually really not looking forward to that thing. We also need to get more uh, kills in the ship. Because we need to get 12 um, ship to ship kills against other, uh, well, uh, ships. So if we see any, we're going to engage them. It shouldn't take us too long to wipe them out in this thing. We also need to go, ah, there's one. We also need to go to the uh, gastro. Or the bistro, whatever it's called, with uh, our friend, and get some meat, some delicious meat. There's also one of the beasts that we can't actually fight, the rock. Uh, we can't fight that until we can um, fly above the clouds, I believe. So we'll handle that when we get to it. So for now, let's take this guy on. Shouldn't take too long to waste this guy's ass. Look at that piddly little ship. I mean, look at it. Pathetic. Spell ship. Yeah, destructive power of the magic cannon, my ass. Blow it out of your ass, mate. Let's give him a load of that. Uh, I guess just focus. I mean, I'm not that bothered, really. <laughs> we can nearly one shot the guy. I mean, yeah, he did zero damage to us. He hit us and did zero damage. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think he can even hit us. We, can, we even have a chance, if we wanted, to use the Moonstone Cannon. But, you know. That should be fine. He's dead. Like, seriously, dude, get out of here. Magic cannon, my arsehole. Anywho. <sighs> Barely anything for killing him, but we knew that. So, let's go and have a little look at our bistro friend. Who's over there. Perfect. Now, we need to go chat to him, see if we can buy some of this meat from the boy because we need to get some spices for that mysterious hidden quest where is the bistro oh we should be able to see it here actually aha perfect I want some meat some fresh sky meat Ooh, sky meat my word, guys, that sounds fan dabby dozy. Alright, pal, what was that? Gentum, kale, and cabal, you say? I see. It appears that you are searching for exquisite ingredients. Fortunately, we use uh, cabal here at my restaurant. I'd be very glad to give you some. It's always best to marinate it for a day or two before cooking it. That's when the t it tastes best. Good cabal is very hard to find. Thanks, dude. Well then, about those other two ingredients. Hmm, Gentum can easily be found in Maramba. It's easily recognisable for its scent. Perhaps you should go to the very centre of trade itself, Nasrad. I'm sure you'd be able to find something there. And what about... Uh, ah, the spice of your dreams, as it's some kind called. Not only does it cover the stench of old meat, it adds a wonderfully indescribable taste to it as well. But alas, I have heard rumours that kale trees have not been seen uh, for quite some time and are thought to no longer exist. In the eastern world, there is an island where they say spice trees grow. Maybe you should start your search there. Yeah, we have to get that other ingredient from a... Um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, discovery. Which is fine. We can handle that. Uh, the second ingredient we do have to buy from Nasrad. Now, if we go up here... We can't go through the dark rifts, can we? 
No. No, we can't. But we can sail down here and go through there and or we could just sail down to the land of ice, I suppose. Um, let's use our head meat about this. So what's the best thing to do? I guess we could go to Nasrad, pick up the other ingredient. Sure, sure. Let's do that. Let's go get our other ingredient. It's always the strange part of this, this mid... Oh, you know what? Let's kill him. Uh, this... <laughs> um, side quest kind of thing. What? We have a Delphinus class ship. Ooh, value inspector spell ship. That thing's got a little bit more testicular fortitude to it. Well, let's light this thing up. And we might actually need gear grease. Let's get a couple of nuggets of gear grease going. Let's see if the first ship of the line... Yeah, the first ship of the line was the better ship, I guess. But then we have significantly upgraded her. And she is bigger. I totally forgot that they actually upgraded their ships. That's actually quite cool. Well, let's get rid of these. I'd argue that that ship actually looks pretty fucking cool. Perth. I would say it looks like a improved design, but it actually looks like a cheaper design. But it is very nice. Yeah, your spells aren't really scratching our ship, to be honest. It's literally, I wouldn't quite say half the size of our ship, but it's definitely not flagship material. If we're a battleship, that thing looks like a destroyer. Uh, ooh, we're going to get hit hard with something, but that's fine. We don't really care because we can just tank it. Uh, I suppose, just in case we don't take it out here, could use rudder grease, but I suppose that won't work until next turn. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a scratch. Oh, it's behind us. Oh, I wonder. Does it have some kind of moonstone cannon itself? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, our ancient cannons got lost there, but that's fine. Yeah, this one's a tough cookie. I wonder, you know, hopefully we'll get some decent XP and money for this. I doubt it, but you never know. It is trying its best. Chinked away nearly 30% of our armor. But that's fine. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, I definitely prefer this design of ship to the uh, original. Ah, really? No chance for... Okay. Let's go all out, I suppose. see how it likes a bit of this. Shouldn't survive this salvo. Should have him in the next round. Or the next turn, I should say. Fingers crossed. You know, I'd be happy if we get like a thousand XP for this. I think that's wishful thinking. See you later, dude. Oh no, we've got a thousand money. Floor heater and a triple turbo. Yeah, they're way behind in technology compared to us. Yep, not worth fight. I mean, I say it's not worth fighting. We have to fight them because we have to get 12 kills. Um, but yeah, it's not worth really. 
Let's use some items. Um, complete kit. Yeah, restores all HP. Sure. Done. Anyway, onwards. Onwards to Nassar. Where they have the delicious spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get wrecked. Get out of here, you bums. Good night. That'll do. Literally a waste of our time. Now we are heading in the right direction. We are good. I was concerned for a minute there. So I wonder what has spurned on this uh, massive technological improvement. Uh, I think we're slightly off course. That the value in Empire uh, is currently handing down to its ships. Seems like they're replacing the entire fleet. Hey, Revered Voice, sure. Um, I think... You're kind of off track there. Right, now we need to go find a spice merchant. Now, now, now. Let's have a little look, shall we? So we know where the merchant is. Well, we know where they are, but we don't know which particular one we're looking for. Hopefully, they're in the same area. Hello. Really worried about this town for a while, but it seems to be getting back on its feet. I was among those who evacuated to another island for a while, but I could not stay away. I'd wager the city will be back to its old self in no time at all. After all, it is a town that I that grew up out of nothing in the desert. Yeah, well, hopefully. Nothing a little bit of Elgro. Elgro? Elgro, yes. Elgro. I think that a bit of elbow grease won't fix. Right, this is problematic. How, pray tell, do we indeed? Hmm. If I was a spice merchant, where would I be? Somewhere high above the skies of Nassar, a beautiful rainbow stretches through the clouds. Okay, cool. How would you know such things? Unless you're a witch! Burn the witch! Actually, don't burn witches. They can be your friends. Yikes, I'm not going to get back to my ship on time. With the bazaar gone, it's a lot harder to get my shopping done. I still need to get that wooden leg for the captain. Where under the six moons would they sell something like that anyway? Well, considering how plentiful pirates are, I would have thought they would have sold them everywhere. Right, so the bazaar is gone. I'm so busy nowadays, the market is starting to pick up again. So more and more people are coming through town. It will not be long before Nasrad regains its place as a city of commerce. Starting a business right now, you will make a killing for sure. Yes. Okay, so if we were looking for a merchant... Uh, where would that merchant be? Would he be down here? I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, there are some things out here. Let's see, I brought moonstones. I need, uh, I need, so I have to find five barrels of drinking water. The shops are finally starting to fill up again. Looks like I can start using Nasrad as a regular resupply point again. Excellent. This is good. Um, I mean, they're just crates of something. What's up here? It is possible he's in one of the random shops, but uh, there's nothing up here at all, is there? No. Just a large cannon that is put out of action. Unfortunate. Okay. What about over the other side? I'm sure there was some dude over the other side at one point, wasn't there? Um... I mean, there's him, but I don't think he's up to much. Ixitakan Express. Let's see. We have two, four. Do not talk to me now. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. 
Okay, so it looks like we need someone that's in the actual city itself, which I guess makes sense. Ah, oh, so I wonder what happened to the fleet. Was it completely smashed or is there something left? Okay, so it's not that guy. We very much doubt the merchant's here, but we're going to have to go door to door by the look of things. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll stay the night. Might as well. Yep, slept well. Absolutely fan dabby dozy, my dude. Now, if we could just find. I mean, I very much doubt it's going to be in any of these rooms, but hey, look. Might as well look. It gives me a chance to drink coffee. Has to be said, those rooms are really, really nice. They're really um, fancy, which is good. You know, when you've been at sea all this time, I need to move my fan out of the way so I can actually see how long I've been recording for. Uh, right. That panicking man does not have the answers we seek. What about... Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I wonder. This dude... Well, well, long time no see. Judging from the fact that you're all together, I guess you must have patched things up. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All is well. Try not to fight from now on. Hey, look, me and Ike are golden, all right? We're good. No, not you, old fool. Right, you. There we go. The King of Rogues. Stories of your exploits of... Reach people far and wide. It is an honor to actually meet you in person. So you're going to give me a discount then? or Probably not. Ah, right. See, that gives us resistance to adverse effect. Oh, cannot be equipped. Interesting. So that begs the question what the point in that is. All right. Unless it's for, like, Gilda or one of the other characters. There is actually a secret hidden character in this game, which uh, I didn't know about. And I'm still not 100% sure on all the deets, but I did read it in my notes. Right, we are running out. Places to look. So that's going down. This is the artist. Yep, looks like she's dead. Well, the the Sultan is dead anyway, and so is all of his family, because you know this is such a nice family friend of the game. Uh, right. So nothing. Now I don't think it's actually possible to miss out on this quest. So, whoever we seek is here somewhere. At least, I hope so. Nowhere in the bazaar to go. Oh, I hope we haven't just... Okay. I hope this person is here. I mean, this would be rather awkward if I actually check my inventory and find that we have it. This would be very awkward. Uh, right. I'm guessing it's a key item. Yeah, Kabul. We actually have two moonfish as well. Interesting. Yep, so we actually are 100% missing the other item. Ah, hello. 
Welcome, welcome. Come in, young man. Sit down and relax. Recently, some people have been returning to town. Business is time to pick up once more. I'm glad it did not close down. I do not have a lot to offer, but make yourself comfortable and stay a while. Yeah, I don't think you're who I'm looking for. I heard that Nasrad was completely destroyed, so I thought for sure this place would, was also gone. The only entertainment they've got is a shabby old tavern keep, but it still makes me happy that they're open. Good, I guess. Everybody's saying that the, the Sultan and his family were all executed. They say they were all dragged off to Valua, and they were executed in front of a huge cloud, uh, crowd. Oof. Yep. I mean, that sounds like something the Valuans would do. Hmm. You? Phew, I was really worried about this. Yeah. Ha. Well, it's not going to be you, is it? I don't think you're going to sell us anything. Hey, you're the king of rogues, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So they confiscated all of his merchandise. You know, apart from the stuff that they didn't confiscate, I guess. Alright, we don't really need any of that. We do need to have over a million in cash at one point. I don't know how we're going to save that up, but... Yeah, see, this guy's got nothing. To think the King of Rose, yeah. Uh, this is pretty rough. Nothing to sell. And we can look at the wealthy person, but we can't get to them yet. Nope, we didn't want to do that. Damn it! Thank you. Don't use the stick to try and go down. It doesn't work very well. Uh, okay, we have a problem. Because I think we've spoken to everybody now. And that's rather unfortunate. Ah. Uh, um, 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 there's literally no way you can go up there, is there? No. And she doesn't do anything. Right. We have encountered a fuck factor. One second, guys. Let me see if I can sort this out. Okay, we have found another person here. Item merchant. You, you the king of roads, are you not? I have heard all about your adventures. You really are something. You could say that. <coughs> right, what do you have to... Uh, yeah, go on. Top up on those. Definitely want to top up on those. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm going to want to top up on those too. Okay, so, don't want to sell anything. Um, what you were, oh, right, yeah, this is the guy, so we have to talk to him. Fine, that's cool. That's acceptable. What do you wish? Gentum? Of course I have some. It is 500 gold per pouch. Do you wish to purchase a bag? Sure. 500 gold, I'll buy it. I need to help somebody out. 500 gold a bag. That is some uh, spicy, expensive spice. But that's okay. We have what we came here to get. Only took us, you know, most of the video wandering around like a headless chicken. But that's fine. Doesn't matter. Results are results. Okay. Now we just need the spice discovery and we should be able 
see where that was. Wasn't the Garpa fruit fruit? Possible we haven't found it. Don't think we have found it. Hmm. Okay. Now, the thing we're actually looking for it's like the spice something the spice falls I believe let's have a look let me get my guide out here so if we scroll all the way to the bottom so we need uh, a, a dark rift to Yufatoma the spice island right we don't have spice island here Now, I need to be a little bit careful because some of these are called different things in different regions. Okay, that's fine. So we need to go find the Spice Islands. Which we can do. We can certainly do that. And then we can close this uh, quest, which is actually like one of the longest, most... Uh, back and forth quests in the game. I think it well by a country mile actually. Um kind of an annoying quest really, but there we go. I guess every game or every Japanese RPG needs kind of like a ridiculous fetch quest, doesn't it? So we need to go to Yafotoma. Now the Spice Islands, I'm just gonna say optimistically shouldn't shouldn't be that hard to find um yeah i wish we could just go through there i'm pretty sure once we can um increase and decrease our height we can just fly up over these rifts i think i'm not 100 sure or we can go underneath them um but yeah we've got ah see this is undiscovered area Right, okay, I will come back and meet you guys when I found the bloody Spice Islands. Just a quick one here, guys. As I've been looking for the Spice uh, place, I have found this, which is the Destry. Once upon a time, there was a gentle creature called the Dereys. That lived in the forest. The villagers believed that getting kicked by the Dereys would make them rich. So they chased him around until he ran away. <laughs> Yafatoman fairy tale. Um, right. Well, uh, cool, I guess. I mean, we all like our fairy tales. They, he lied. So, anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> the search continues. Again, it's not what we're looking for, but it's something. Found the Grieving Prince. A statue of an ancient prince who lost his wife in a sailing accident, spent his life gazing up at the skies. On a full moon, it is said that a single tear falls from the prince's eyes as he watches the ships pass. Oof, that's actually quite sad. Anyway, the search continues. And another discovery. You have found the Mystic Orchard. Cool. Not what we're looking for, but okay. Once upon a time, there was a faraway island where the jeweled fruit grew on the trees. A young man took one of the fruits to cure his sick mother, but in return had to come back to the island to become one of the magical trees. Ooh. That's kind of a cool fairy tale. I like it. And the search continues. Another one down. The Inverse Island. 
a strange island where the trees and everything else are upside down. The current theory is that this confusing phenomenon may be caused by a flux in the gravitational pull caused by the presence of the black moonstones at the center of the dark rift. Okay. I mean, cool, but that's like over there, man. And it's like the only one <laughs> that's like that. But hey, sure game, sure. Um, anyway, the search continues. Right, let's have a go. Boop. Woohoo! Yeah, I looked it up in the end. <laughs> I was just going around trying to... F oh man, I've been doing this for probably, I don't know, an hour? Maybe more? I don't know. Yeah, easily an hour. Easily an hour. Actually, could be closer to. Uh, we've got quite a few levels, though, and quite a lot of money. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's kind of been a bit of a time sink but we have the spice island yes uh, a small remote island where a pure spring um nurtures a wide variety of herbs and spices the water in the spring has a medicinal value due to the abundant herbs nearby perhaps this beautiful garden is the true fountain of youth wow there are so many herbs and spices growing here i've never seen so many in one place before it's amazing. This place truly is a treasure island. But we really shouldn't disturb the island too much. Yeah, I suppose if we took too many of the seeds and stuff, the trees might not be able to grow back. But I'm sure it'd be okay to take a little bit, right, Vase? I swear, Ica, you and your just a little bit. All right, all right. We'll take something with us. You received some kale. Okay, so we have everything that we need. Now, in my digging, though, uh, I did discover we have one more discovery, according to my information here, that we can actually get. Um, and let's have a look. Grassy mountain, land full of fruit, change from grass to snow. Yeah, so we have one more discovery that we can get um which ironically is like here ish uh without upgrading our ship so let's go and do that so i'll see you in a second kids and apparently this is the final one we can get before we upgrade our ship so let's have a look you have found the ruins of Ro lana the ruins of a city that served as the center of trade between Nassar and the East. The ruins show a remarkable blending of the cultures of the East and the West, driven not by the ruling classes, but by a strong merchant class. Okay. Now, now that's that, um, we basically are up to date on all of our discoveries that we can get now. Uh, we have well over half of them. Now, look, if we look at our money a minute... When I first, yeah, I think it has been nearly two hours of me going around doing this. Um, so, when we last left off, I was on, was on 118,000 or something. We now have 218 odd thousand. So, we've made nearly 40,000 gold <laughs> in um, random battles. That's a lot. <laughs> that's crazy considering like some of the battles or most of the battles I was getting about 700 gold for uh, yeah Jesus uh, definitely had enough of the random battles for a while um, Vase has gone up I think two levels in this video uh, Ika's definitely gone up once Fina's gone up once and I think Enrique's gone up once or Possibly twice. I can't remember. But we've had some pretty big um, upgrades here. Anyway, I'm going to have to empty this video. Uh, empty? <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to empty this video. I'm going to have to end this video because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edits in this one particular video. So when we come back... Uh, yeah, so... Wait... Mid ocean. I don't know where our first save was. Yeah, we've definitely, <laughs> with all the fast forwarding and whatnot, 
added, what, nearly two hours onto the game time? Jeez. So anyway, let's drop one there. So when we come back, we're going to finish off this side quest and hopefully go fight some big beasts. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.